Do you ever feel like getting out of bed is like climbing a mountain? Well that is today. Today is my Everest. Really, really not feeling it today. Okay, how's it going guys? Hopefully you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, let me know by leaving a like. It really helps the channel out a lot. Here is some footage from a couple of days ago where I trained back with Billy and I tried out a new movement which is part of his program, a T-bar row. Now I've never done it before, so not only did I warm up with one plate as you guys can see here, I warmed up with just a bar. And actually I wanted to hint on the importance of actually training, warming up properly, training that central nervous system because as you can see me here, start to stretch off a little bit just because it just didn't feel right. And so I took a few minutes away from the from the weights and actually just stretched out my lower back, stretched out my entire body in general, started getting some blood pumping in the muscles. And as you can see by the third set here, I was smashing out six to eight reps at the end of the session. So the next movement was lap pull down. And as you guys know, if you've been subscribed to the channel for a long time now, if not, if you're a new subscriber, I always focus on holding it for two seconds at the bottom and then really controlling that motion on the negative part of the motion because that is 50% longer that you're controlling those muscles, 50% longer you're breaking those muscle fibers down, 50% quicker you are gonna make those gains. So the next movement was a straight arm pull down. And actually, if you really just relax those lats at the top here and then pull down, no shrugging, no movement of any other muscles, really focus on using the back. And then finally to finish off, we finished off with some bicep curls. Really focusing on just pulling from the elbow, not shrugging those shoulders, not shrugging that weight, not using those legs, anything that people used to do, still do in the gym, just to get the weight up. Actually we go lower the weight and focus on really pulling from just the bicep. It's helped me definitely make some more progress. So that is it for the workout footage of this video guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Be sure to stay tuned for a massive muscle food unboxing coming up next. Okay guys, hopefully you are enjoying the video so far. If you are, then let me know by leaving a like, comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel. But for now, we'll get to these two muscle food boxes. And everything in both of these boxes costs 50 pounds. Uh, a lot more food than we would normally have, like I'd just normally have a sort of bundle. Whereas this was a Black Friday deal, it was an early Black Friday deal. Um, so uh, good business on muscle food's part. Um, and uh, so let's get right into it. Right, so there's one slightly lighter box and one bit more heavy box. So we'll start off with the lighter box. Just move this one out of the way for now. Here we go, as usual, wrapped in the usual cooling bag uh, with back with ice cubes, which have now melted, but that's my fault, not theirs. Um, so in this, okay, there are some high protein maple syrup waffles, which let me tell you guys, per 90 gram serving, which I assume is just one waffle, is 264 calories, 6.7 grams of fat, 31 grams of carbs, which is just sort of average carbs, and 16.7 grams of protein. So we've just been out for dinner, right? We've just been out for a nice dinner when we had a pudding. Not gonna lie, it was kind of a cheap meal, um, but it was worth it. And, and it must have had at least six or 700 calories in it. Whereas I would happily sprinkle some Welcome Farms on one of those protein waffles, and there's two two boxes of these, so there's eight of them in that. Wow. Okay, that's a that's a nice surprise. Oh my word! There's three boxes, but I just I just ripped one. Um, so there's three boxes of these high protein waffles. <laughs> wow. <I don't, laughs> wow. It's a nice nice surprise for me, guys. I don't know whether it was some sort of uh, loyalty loyalty point type. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, right, so there's some giant free-range meatballs too. That's incredible. Uh, we've got a lot of meat in this, guys. There's a lot of chicken, uh, which you'll get to see in a minute, and then there's lots of steaks and lots of meatballs. All the good stuff which we love from Muscle Food. As always, giant free-range mus uh, Muscle Food meatballs. All British beef in there. So, two packs of this. I don't know what it is with this beef mince, guys. It tastes so much, so much better than something from the supermarket. I think it's just, I don't know whether it's because it's vacuum wrapped or whether it's just fresher or there's nothing added to it. I don't know what it is. 
but this just, if I ever make a spaghetti bolognese, just chuck a few peppers in, an onion, and then some low fat uh, dolmio sauce or something like that, and it tastes so much better than your average uh, spaghetti bolognese, or just, just the mince in general, it's really good quality guys. So I recommend, can't recommend that enough. Um, wow, okay, it, this is a massive tub of smooth roasted peanut butter, so, Wow. Okay, this is a this is a kilogram of peanut butter. More giant rent, free range meatballs. So three boxes of them. So three, as I was saying, with the uh, beef mince just there, you can make a you can make meatballs with the same sauce and the same kind of things and have similar macros. So that's good. We've got another pack of beef mince here. So there's three packs of beef mince. Oops. Um, and in here, there's two free range sirloin steaks. So that's just the beginning of the steaks, and that's it for that box. No, it's not. No, it isn't. There's some butterscotch flavour, muscle food, zero fat, no added sugar, muscle food, guilt-free syrup, it's called. So per 100 grams, bear in mind how much syrup actually is in 100 grams, right? That's a lot of syrup. It's probably, this whole thing's probably only a couple of hundred. It's eight calories. So eight calories in what I can imagine is about that much muscle. In fact, I'm going to check. Right. <laughs> in here, right? 400 milliliters. It doesn't give you poor, doesn't give you calories by the milliliter. Gives you calories per 100 grams. So, if we just turn our scale on here, this is another thing which you should definitely get, guys. It was about seven or eight pound from Sainsbury's. You can get them from any supermarket, any to any Wilco's, anything like that. If you're American, you can probably get them at Walmart or something like that. So, if we just turn these scales on, wait for them to set to zero. Right. Okay. So, if I just put these this butterscotch on the uh, scales. There's 462 grams, guys, so if we just take into account the weight of the plastic bottle, I would say that's around 400 grams, so I'd probably say the 400 mils is a gram per milliliter, so in, <laughs> in a quarter of a tub is 8 kilograms, roughly. That's not, that's not science, but yeah, that'll go nicely with the waffles, so uh, that's a, a really nice surprise. Uh, that's it for that box, so let's move that one out of the way and we'll open up the second one, and I think this is going to have a lot more chicken in it. I have a feeling this is going to be a, a chicken based um, box. And to start off with, wow, okay, mm. a high protein bread, so we can make like uh, high protein cheese toasties, high protein just sandwiches in general. It's from Dr. Zach's, so it's 30 grams worth of protein in each two slices, 30% uh, less carbs than normal bread, and I think there's less sodium in this as well. So. Uh, will help keep that sodium level down, which is quite important if you're tracking macros. Uh, yeah, so 1.2 grams of salt per two slices. But if we just compare that to the whole wheat bread that we have at the minute, I'm not too sure if that's any different. So we have this whole wheat bread here. I'm not entirely sure on the macros for this at all. I just know it's a bit healthier than, uh, than, uh, than white bread. But, oh, here we go. Here's the macros. So there's... Per slice, okay, so the so the macros for the salt are the same. But um, nevertheless you're getting less carbs, so if you're uh, if you're on a cut then definitely recommend something like that. Let's get into this second bag, which again, as I was just saying for the cheese toasties, has muscle food lifetime mozzarella. So does that mean that it can last a lifetime? All the flavour without without the fat, it says made from cow's milk. So in this, wow, okay, the whole pack is 227 grams, 227 grams and the macro is per 100 grams, so pretty much half a block of cheese is 11.7 grams of carbs, 26.7 grams of protein, and this is the good bit, 2.2 grams of fat in half of this cheese. The calories, 177 grams in half a block of cheese. Now I'm obviously not, I'm not saying go and eat half a block of cheese, please don't do that, that is, uh, everything's healthy in moderation, even if you have too much of this, it's not good for you, so, um, I don't, I don't, how on earth do they do that, like, I don't, I haven't got a clue, and so extra in this as well, is some of the world famous muscle food high protein pizzas, so in these pizzas there's 658 calories, as you guys can see there, this is the mighty meaty one, which is my personal favourite, 76 grams of protein. Now imagine if you're on a cut, right? You're on a cut, you're only allowed 2,200 calories a day. Of that, 
you have to have 180, 200 grams worth of protein, right? There's practically half of your, well, a third of your protein in a day. In a day, in a meal, in one meal. If you have that, and this will fill you up, I can tell you that now. It will fill you up for, for hours. I don't know what it is, it's just so dense and, and, and tasty. It's not like a normal pizza, it's, not, it's like a, a, thin, a thin pizza, it's not like a takeaway. But it's, it's, it's incredible, I can't even explain the, uh, the, how good they taste, those pizzas. And so we've got a couple of these in here as well. There are one more, and, and again, yes, that's a Mighty Meaty Pizza. Wow, okay, there's a bit more in here than I expected, guys. So, um, there's two, on, back onto the beef again, there's two beef hash steaks in here. There's two sweet chili chicken burgers, so a little bit of a change from your usual chicken burgers or just beef burgers in general. So these are just chicken burgers, so they're just chicken mince piled in together, just like the hash steak. Um, more of my favourite things, these are probably, definitely muscle food sausages are just, I don't know how they do it, but they taste incredible. Low fat Cumberland sausages and low fat pork sausages. This has uh, four, six sausages, all together 454 grams, and uh, in this, I believe in each sausage is like 0.1 grams of fat, which is ridiculous when you think how much sausages are in, how much fat is in a sausage. So that's the same for both of those. And um, on top of that we've got some more steaks here. So there's two free range rump steaks there. And here's, here's the beginning of all the chicken. Right? Two, two packs of 200 grams worth of chicken uh, mini fillets. So these are all nice and cut up into little bits say if you have fajitas or, or any kind of wrap or anything like that. They're nice and already cut up, ready for you in this vacuum pack. So that's those there. And as always, customary for me, in my opinion, 2.5 kilos of chicken. So this is in one big bag and then I'll just bag that up into sandwich bags and then put them in the freezer, take them in and out of the freezer when you can. So uh, if you're a student, especially like myself, definitely bear in mind the company like Light Muscle Food where they do have big bulk offers. Like all of this food here, guys, was, uh, was just over 50 pound, this, all this meat here. So, um, and then obviously these little extras as well. But um, all this meat, including the, the chicken, the beef, the sausages, the, um, I think the bread might have been included in that as well, but I'm not too sure. Um, and then on top we just have these little extras like the egg whites, so this is a liter of egg whites. Much, much, much healthier option than you say uh, you full egg whites or you can get egg beaters or something like that. This just tends to be a healthier option uh, in comparison to something with, uh, with the yolk in it because obviously that is where the fat is. And here is a sauce, a Nando's lemon and herb peri peri sauce which, uh, which you can just add to your chicken. Um, and then surely that's it, yeah that's it, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say surely there's not anything else. Right, uh, and this actually is really helpful for you guys. If you struggle, if you take uh, lunches to, to school, if you take lunches to college or uni or anything like that, and you buy from Muscle Food, obviously they're not going to ask for these ice packs back, are they? So you get to keep the ice pack, which you can then put in the freezer. It might be defrosted by the time you unbox it like I am now. But it will be in there, and you can freeze it, and you can take it in your lunchbox, or just keep the general area where it's going to be cool, and you can keep these packages, I've actually kept one of these, so if we ever have a barbecue in the summer, then um, we can put all the stuff in here, keep it nice and cool, and, uh, and, and use the ice packs as well. So uh, that's just another idea for you guys. Um, and that is it for this part of the video, and I believe that is it for this entire video. So um, if you enjoyed this video guys, please let me know by leaving a like, comment and subscribe if you're new for loads more content like this. I have just today, placed a big Alpha Lee order and so um, that will be here in a, in a couple of weeks time and so I'll be sure to review those for you guys, give an honest review like I always do. So subscribe if you like these kind of unboxings, let me know whether you enjoyed it by leaving a like, comment and subscribe, share to your friends, share to your mum, dad, because subscribers are going up quicker than ever guys and it's all because of you so I can't thank you guys enough for that. So uh, if there's anything else, any questions that you have about muscle food, about anything that I do on my videos, anything in general, email them to lsjfitness at gmail.com or comment in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. So thanks a lot for watching today guys, remember, no regrets, I'll see you guys in the next video.